she ended up taking me uh, with her on Without a Trace. She got Without a Trace right after Revelations. She ended up taking me on with her without, on Without a Trace. And I really wanted to do it because I knew I would get to cut a lot. And that's at that point, I had given up the assistant going to the far corners of the world, the, the big feature job, and realized that a lot of my friends were starting to move up and I was still assisting. And I realized that I really needed to kind of get myself in gear and kind of, what do you want out of this, Kelly? You're getting older, what do you want? And I realized, yeah, I kind of want to be editing. Um, and so uh, I went with her and without a trace. And I remember, I don't remember the scene and I don't remember, you know, it was, it was probably just, you know, uh, just a basic scene probably in the bullpen of the without a trace you know show and um and I cut it for her and I remember the next day she came in because she had gone home and she she was telling me that she had gone home that night and she was talking to her husband Chris and she said yeah Kelly can really cut and I was just like what do you talk what do you think what do you think I can't cut and she goes what was I going to do if you couldn't cut? You came on this job because you wanted to be cutting. And what if you couldn't do it? And it was funny because all coming up, I had never heard that. Like I had been with Victor and I had been with all these other people, you know, that I had cut for. And, you know, I never heard this issue about what am I going to do if you really can't cut? And she didn't know. And so I just got the biggest kick out of that. So I, unfortunately, I can't tell you what the scene was and what it aired and what the notes were. I remember, though, that a lot of stuff that I did for her... Um, she would like not have notes. She'd be like, great, she put in the show. Um, I do remember the one scene that I did with her. It was directed by um, Jonathan Kaplan. He was a producing director at the time. And it was a phone call and it was a, it was a frenetic phone call between two teenage guys. Um, and one of them was accusing the other of something. And I remember wanting to go really kind of I really want to take some chances with this scene, and the scene lent itself to it. It was very, very, you know, the tempers were rising and fervor was rising. And what I ended up doing was there were shots that were shot um, uh, facing shots and shots that were profile shots. And I remember doing a lot, taking those and 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 cutting them with each other on the same person, which is was a really not being done at all. Um, and so one kid was on a, a car phone, uh, on a cell phone in his car. The other kid was on a pay phone. And they both, you know, and I, I started using the, the front on shots and the profile shots on the same person together, which was really not being done. And one thing that I did was I started to um, play the profile shot on the kid uh, where he wasn't actually talking, but he you could hear him talking. So this shot was not in sync. And then I'd cut to this shot, and he'd catch up to his own sink. It was very, very, very um, progressive. Um, but it was so cool. And I remember showing it to her. I was really proud of it, too, because I'm like, I think this is like, this is like the next renaissance. This is coming. We're going to start, people are going to start doing this. And she saw it, and she's like, um, nah, you know, I don't think, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I don't really get the thing where he's not in sync, and how can we, you know. And so she's like, you know, I appreciate that you're trying to push the limit here, but this is not working for me. And I was like, okay, cool, you know. But what was interesting was, is that when Jonathan Kaplan came up to, um, to do his director's cut, um, I didn't know it, but she actually showed him the scene. She, it wasn't in the show, but she wanted to show it to him. And he came to me later and he said, that was one of the coolest things that he's ever seen. And that he's looking, he was like looking, not that he wanted to put that in the show. That would never have flown in the show. <laughs> it would never have passed producers or network or anything. But he was looking for that kind of um, envelope to be pushed. Now, we've done stuff like that on Breaking Bad many times now. And it, I was just, that was about, I think, 2006. So I was just maybe about six years, a little too early.